Hi, and welcome to another edition of Stahl's DMS Tech Talk. My name is Lucas Crossley, and I'm the Sales and Service Manager for Stahl's Digital Media Supplies. Today, I want to take a few moments to talk to you about how to utilize the Roland VersaWorks Color Library with CorelDRAW X4. I've had a few tech calls on this issue, customers saying that they're using the Roland VersaWorks Color Library to do fills on objects, and they can no longer see them on screen, or they'll export their files to VersaWorks, and they can't print silver metallic or white inks. The reason for that is that the Roland VersaWorks Color Library needs to be added to the custom spot color palette in CorelDRAW X4 in order for Roland VersaWorks to recognize those colors. So to do that, click Tools, Palette Editor, and browse until you find your custom spot color palette. Click Add Color. Click the file folder to browse to the location where the VersaWorks color library is stored. So they have to go back to your C drive, program files, roll in VersaWorks, and swatches. Select the CorelDRAW folder and open the user inks file. With the user inks file open, select all of the colors. Starting from the top, the first color will be cut contour. I have mine displayed as the named values so that I can easily identify. And you can do that by clicking the options and just selecting show color names. So make sure the first, uh, first color is selected and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Hold the shift key down and select the last color. We've now selected all of the colors in the Roland VersaWorks color library and click Add to Palette. So we can now see our custom spot color palette contains all of the Roland VersaWorks color library colors. So we can close this and you can see all of the colors are now available for us to use. When you're finished, click OK. And you can see I have my custom spot color palette docked here with all of the colors available. We can now do a simple test just to ensure that this worked correctly. Just draw a couple of simple shapes and fill each of the shapes with different colors. So in this case I'm going to fill one box black and one box white. When you mouse over it will tell you the name of the color. You may not see that on your screen, but this is the R2G underscore white color. And then this one I'm going to do silver. Once you've completed that, I'm going to print this to the VersaWorks queue. I'm doing what's called a postscript print. For those of you who don't aren't familiar with this, I'll do another quick video on this one later. I like this method as opposed to exporting an EPS file and then importing it into VersaWorks. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and select Roland VersaWorks and press print. And the job will pop up in the queue here. And I can see right away that Roland VersaWorks is actually recognizing those custom spot colors. Double click the file to open the settings and we can just further confirm this. As you can see here, the other colors are gone as I'm not on an MT profile. So if I select an MT profile, I'll be able to see the silver metallic ink. In fact, I can even change the mode to just the metallic silver so that only the metallic silver inks would print and I can clearly see that VersaWorks is indeed recognizing that. If I want to see the white inks, I'll need to pick a clear profile. So CCVP, clear calendar vinyl and the permanent adhesive and the MT version would work well. And here we're only set to do the uh, metallic, so if I change it to now add the white mode, you can see that all of the colors are in fact working. So quite simple now, you just run a little print and just test it to make sure that it's working to your satisfaction. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. There will be a lot more of these coming, 
So please stay tuned. Um, if you have any questions regarding this or any other Stalls DMS product or any other question related to technical support, please give us a call at 1-800-521-5255. Thanks for watching and have a profitable day.